Project Nightfall. From busking on the streets of London and working in fast food to amassing a loyal following of almost half a million subscribers and traveling the world with Nas Daily producing his daily videos, Aegon Hare has had a remarkable rise to stardom and success, which he's intent on using to share his inspiring message that positive change is possible for anyone in just one nightfall. Last week, I had the pleasure of interviewing Aegon Hare. I recently launched an educational platform for bloggers and vloggers called Internet Crash Courses, and Aegon spoke to me about his specific strategies for creating viral videos on Facebook. The interview was amazing. The guy is a genius, and I learned a lot of things which I'll be implementing into my own videos here on Travel is Life. But before I asked Aegon to reveal his secrets to making viral videos, I wanted to learn more about the man behind the performer, about how he got started with video production, and the path that led him to traveling the world with Nas Daily. It's an amazing story of success. The full interview will be published in November on internetcrashcourses.com, and that includes our in-depth conversation about Aegon's specific strategies for creating viral videos. But today, I transcribed the first 15 minutes of the interview so that you could learn about the humble beginnings of Project Nightfall and the path that led him to traveling the world with Nas Daily. Hello, Paul, and hello, everyone. I'm smiling so wide after this, this intro. <laughs> Very epic. Good to hear. Thank you. Thank you again. I want to dive right in because that's what we do around here at Internet I Crash Courses. Right in. Aegon, most of us listening know the performer Project Nightfall from your videos. But I want to ask you, who is the real Aegon Hare? Before we get started, what should our listeners know about your background, personally, professionally, or both? Who is the real Aegon? Okay, I, I'm a guy from, from a small Polish city. I, I come from a musical background. I started my journey with like chasing my dreams and, and working really hard as a singer and music producer back in Poland. And at some point I said to myself that I want to take it seriously. So I decided to leave to London. That was exactly seven years ago. And in that time, I was basking on the streets. I've worked in recycling center. I was working in food industry, in fast food chain. And after five years of, of like really hard work, it started paying off. And now I travel around the world. And from that experience of, of coming from like a humble background and a lot, a lot of work that went unnoticed now i feel like i can i can have some some message behind my words because i've been like most of the people from zero to somewhere when did video enter the mix you said seven years ago you you went to london when did you start making videos the video entered to mix two years ago two and a half years ago exactly and it's a funny story because I was making a music video with a professional video maker. And when, when we finished, it took, took him half of a year to, to bring me that music video. And I was so frustrated. I was telling myself, I can't wait. My hype for this song died. And I, I, I wanted the song to go out, but he couldn't edit the video on time. So I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna learn music video production and the next video I release will be my own. And that's how it started. The first few videos were horrible, but I quickly caught up. And once I caught up, somehow I got into a mix of working with people who are successful on YouTube. And that's how my professional video making started. I'm very surprised to hear two years ago. That's, that's insane to me. And I think probably insane to a lot of people listening who have heard your videos and seen your videos because with, with the way you edit your videos, I, I would have guessed at least 10, 15 years experience, uh, possibly uh, you're a prodigy who got started when you were six years old for all I know. <laughs> you know, it's possible that in two years I, I, I've managed to, to, to push six years of work because once I started video making, I saw an extreme difference in my music making skills and video making. I felt really, really, really weak with my video making. So I was catching up, working like 10 hours every single day, putting random videos that I never released on a timeline and 
in Premiere Pro back then and just editing them to learn and watching tutorials and and just pushing it all the time. So I think it's 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 the fact that I had the experience of making music for so many years that I could sit on my computer for 10 hours mastering one one note in a song that made me learn video production in a like really intense way. That's fantastic. And and during this past 2 years, about 1 year ago, that's when you joined Nas Daily's team. Yes. And from what I from what I know, you you edit his videos, you travel with him full time. Yeah. And and you help him film and, and do everything involving producing. How yeah. did you first get connected with Nas and start working together? Okay. So about two hundred days ago, Nas had this thing in in Morocco. He now we do it together, but before he was doing it by himself here organizes boot camps for creators and back then a friend tagged me on his video on his post because i wasn't watching his videos like every day so probably i wouldn't notice it but my friend kartik if you're listening to it thank you for tagging me it changed my life <laughs> he tagged me on a post and said yo check this out and he and us created a video saying hey join me to travel with me for seven days we're going to learn from each other and all this stuff. So I wrote, wrote him an email. And after that email, they wrote me back because it's also his girlfriend, Alin, who reads that, these emails. And they said, yo, come over to Morocco. They really like my video. I did, I did a video on YouTube and they, they saw big potential in it. So they invited me to Morocco. I came there. I packed my bag for, for nine days exactly because I, I had my tickets bought to Los Angeles. I was already established as an editor on YouTube and I didn't plan on staying at all. But after about five days of being together, we released this, this big video called We Killed the Internet on NASA's channel that went viral and and was was really strong, and we just like we realized that we work very well together. So Nas calls me in the room, and he's like, "Hey, how about you join us on travel? We go to Japan next." <laughs> and back then, I was like, "Oh my goodness, okay." <laughs> I didn't expect that. I wasn't packed. I, I was ready to fly to Los Angeles and then just do my life and stuff. Took me five minutes to decide, and I was like, "Okay." I, I quit my YouTube job and I started traveling with him. I had no idea. He said, I have no idea how long that's going to last, if we're going to be together forever or not, because we might hate each other at some point. I have no idea how much money there will be in it, but I can tell you for sure that it will be a lot of fun and a lot of hard work. And, and it was... After five days of working with him, it became obvious to me that I have to do it. I remember the video. I remember his call to action for people about this this boot camp. Oh, you remember? A few people. I've been watching. I've been watching Nas's videos for for a while, and and back then I've actually introduced a lot of people to his videos. I I, I think the world of him, mm -hmm. and and folks tagged me in it. But I was so brand new to making videos myself. Then mm -hmm. I didn't even. I, I had zero idea what I was doing. I said, I'm not, I'm not ready for something like this. But I remember uh, you, if I'm not mistaken, it was you and a, and a couple other folks yes, that went to for, camp, for right? other people. When you submitted a video to him, was it a video you created specifically for him to get his attention? Or, no. or was it another video you had produced? It's totally insane, insane coincidence because about a month before that, I made my first scripted video ever without even seeing NASA's videos. And up until then, I was making vlog content. So I would just run around with camera and be entertaining and have fun and stuff like this. But... I decided to make one scripted video. And once I finished that video and I saw Nas's video afterwards, I realized that his videos were kind of similar to what I did. And I feel that's what caught him attention because he saw, saw a part of him in my video and I didn't even see him making his videos. So I kind of um, had his style shaped in a different form so I could put a new twist into his videos. And after like 600 videos he made, he, he needed that extra fresh energy. 
So it wasn't specifically for him, but it was in a style that was attractive for Nas Daily. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize the story that you had a job lined up. You were on your way to Los Angeles. Oh, and, and crazy you crazy lined up and stuff. <laughs> yeah. what, what was it about Nas, his energy, his personality that, that made you so confident? Or, or were you confident to, to make a big gamble? Like oh, I have to call it a gamble. It, it was a gamble. It definitely was. But it, it was so obvious to me because before, before being on Facebook and joining Nas, I was working on YouTube. And I was working with, with many YouTubers who, who vlog, who make videos and are popular in, in American market. And I was mainly their editor. But uh, I also went to Los Angeles and I lived on Vine Street, which, was, which still is a place, kind of like a social media entertainment middle of the world. All of the, the big people we see on the internet live there. And I was in that environment and I felt that it's not necessarily where I belong because I never, wa- I never wanted to just create entertaining, entertaining content, you know. I always felt like it would be great if I could have some positive impact on people with, with my videos. And once I joined NAS, I realized that you don't have to be a clickbaiter and a sensationalist guy who always looks for ways to attract people with, with nude girls or, or stupid titles. You just have to be confident in what you say. You, you, you have to be inspirational or just intelligent with your content. And it was such a, such a breath of fresh air to me, to a guy who, who works on YouTube. So I created my Facebook account like a month after being with Nas. I never even thought of making videos on Facebook, but the power of this platform is just awesome. And Nas himself was real. I, I had a pleasure of working with, with a lot of YouTubers and including PewDiePie, for example, was the biggest guy on YouTube. And I felt with PewDiePie, he was real too. I, I found the genuine human energy when I worked with PewDiePie. And I felt the same thing from Nas. When I met him, he was the same guy as he is in his videos. Very smart, very, very believing in what he does and, and wanting to, to make his videos for the people and not just for himself. And that made me realize that I don't want to go back to Los Angeles. I don't want to have a high paid editor's job with entertaining YouTubers. I want to risk it all and make my own channel. I felt the same thing from Nas, a really, really unique creator who has a great message and, and it's just, just real someone, someone who believes in what they do and doesn't use their audience as a tool to make money and to use for his own gain. And that was something that I felt I wanted for myself too. So it really attracted me and it was obvious for me to join his team. I lived in Los Angeles for three years, right in Los Feliz, close to Hollywood. And I know that it's not the place for everybody. And from the outside looking in, this is the first day I'm talking to you, but I've seen your videos. I think that you found your place. Because you especially, but the three of you always look like you're having so much fun in your videos. Oh, I, don't yeah. know, I don't know if people who see the videos and see how much fun you're having realize just how hard you work and how many long days you put into to creating these videos. So I wanted to ask yeah. you, what, what is a day in the life like on the Nas Daily team and the Project Nightfall channel? Oh, our days are insane. And this is a perfect, perfect timing because yesterday I had one of the craziest days. Basically, what happened yesterday is Nas doesn't have a visa to Malaysia. He can't go there. So we had to flew me in the Malaysia just for five hours to make a video with a guy who's been trapped on the airport for six months. He lives at the airport because he's a Syrian refugee who whose passport expired and Malaysia doesn't have a refugee status. So he has to live there until... Uh, someone helps out and I hope it will the video that we made will push it so the the day is like a constant grind we 
we we work almost all the time when people ask us on the meetups how long does it take to one how long does it take to make one video we used to say okay 10 hours then we said 12 hours but when we when we spoke back home we realized that from now on we're always going to say 24 hours of video making every single day because even when the video is finished we constantly think of what we have to do nas scripts all the time in his head we have extra videos on the side and the one minute video sounds so easy to make but sometimes we have to travel for three hours to get two shots we we never use stock footage we always we always try to deliver the best thing and finding ideas takes forever so it's a lot of hard work but it's so rewarding that, as you said, it, it looks really fun. And when it comes to, to Project Nightfall, I, I have one day off per week. So this is also a really intense time for me because every time I have a day off, I need to make sure that before that I have my script for a video done. So on my day off, I will wake up early around eight in the morning. I will quickly prepare myself, go outside and record all the lines from the script and everything creative that I thought before, I will, I will record this. I'll come back home and then I'll edit for about 10 to 12 hours. So my days off are actually also the most intense days. There is never a day off in a daily content video making.